got the 500% booster wrong. Gonna do a quick naval battle. Catch up with the squadron activity. And uh, that is it. <laughs> Just a quick one for now. But um, yeah, I'm taking out the uh, HMS Enterprise again. Because uh, I do enjoy. A good bit of a naval, really. <laughs> I do hope they uh, eventually add um, submersible, you know, like U-boats and all sorts of fun things. I'm sure they have. They've added. They've pardon me. They've added nukes. For crying out loud! I mean, sky's the limit from this point. <laughs> Gunners are searching for airborne and surface targets. I didn't actually think I've been on this map. In a while. I think I've been on this map like three times. Well, it's open water, so, you know. Islands and open water. <laughs> yes. Where are they? Well, I'll see them soon enough. Yes, it's a lovely ship. I mean, actually, if you want to have a bit of fun with uh, War Thunder and Naval, uh, definitely try out some of the British ships. Uh, now that they've separated the fleets, you can obviously jump straight ahead and have a backup destroy and all that. And then, um, yes, well, Guns are rather fantastic if we can get them all on point. Oh, oh, oh. oh we need to line up. I like proper sound to them now as well. I do wonder what they're going to um, add in the future. Naval. I would really, really like to see combined battles. More than just aircraft, but like actual, yeah, you know what I'm going to say. <laughs> Land battles going on, and proper three stage conflict. I mean, let's face it, the whole capture ABC thing is um, its getting done to death at this point. At least just behind him. Let's try here. Why players do that? And they, well, you know, if you're in a fast boat, yeah, you can perform a loop. But how is the smoke coming from behind you going to conceal you? Uh -oh. ah, crap. And that's what I get for not paying attention to what is actually going on around me. 
try the same thing with the smoke, but actually try and turn in on myself and this. Guns are on. bad. This is going to be a bloody fight to the death. And this is why I like naval. It's like doo doo doo, boring at the beginning, nothing really going on, and then all of a sudden, boom. Everybody's just within a couple of kilometers of each other, and forty percent uh, crew, ah, fire for fire. Straight. Yes, thank you. Oh, thank God. Actually, be cinematic. No, I don't want to do that. Oops, what am I doing? Dog. Yeah, okay. Well, we went out in blazing glory. Let's uh, quickly try and get some loaded stuff. I didn't purchase this. One of. I think I actually got it in an event. Good day! Oh, I like how I could actually hear that explosion properly. Yes, uh, if you see the 
frames at 44 per second. I've got, whoa, oh no, I'm gonna die. It was worth it. Yeah, if I actually turn that off. There we go, better frames. Gunners are searching for airborne and surface targets. Although, I mean, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. If I enable or disable, so. I don't know why that is only in naval. I think it must be something to do with um, the water, because normally I'm I'm running above uh, 120 frames. See, and it's it's still around 40. That's so odd. Oh, but the image is so much clearer and so much better. I mean, engine, tweak that, please. Optimize even. Rapid fire! Also, another reason why a lot of the British ships are great is because their guns fail. Oh, you know, just, I mean. Enemy forces captured a zone! Death, 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 tea and cake will death. Have the cake, please. Well, we're out of cake.
diving down. Get ya. Yeah. I think I need to um, air target detection on the crew needs to be upgraded there. Well, we ain't dead yet. What do we got? Speed of light. Oh, hello. Ah, cover. Well, I think we managed to uh, destabilize the uh, B situation there. Just hopefully, we can get there in time. By the way, I hope you've enjoyed um, sorry about that, uh, the little <laughs> fun little exploration, should we say, I mean. One thing I would really like, um, it's for, I, I mean, I know the aiming is, yeah, yeah really tricky. It takes quite a bit to get used to, and, you know. It would be nice if they could work on that a little bit, so it's nicer for newer players because it took me a fair while as well. I think actually even a lot of people are still completely turned off by naval, but once you get into it, once you get used to the swing of it, it's, it's quite fun. Especially when you're in the zone. Or, you know, you're just like in one of those missions and you just do really well. Come on, give me a hit. Oh, man. Oh, well. What the fourth? Not bad. Hopefully, in that one mission, I've done enough activity for my squadron. Really not great, you know. I mean. I have to say the sweet point is early on with naval battles. Uh, later on, once you get the light cruisers and stuff, you get that boring bit at the beginning. But um, yeah, the first bit is definitely more fun than later on. And um, uh, once you get past that kind of in-between bit, uh, the guns are a lot more accurate at long range and stuff. So you can actually shoot those just you know, 15k isn't a problem. <laughs> or as usual before, 13k was like do 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 do. Honestly, it's, um, it's half my aiming, half the guns just being like, I, I want to do this. So, well, obviously, you know, arguments can be made either side. <laughs> I am not an amazing player. <laughs> uh, I do feel like the, uh, the gun control uh, in mid-region of uh, vessels, the World War Two ones and stuff, is a, a little bit hit and miss. And then when you get later on, especially through the light cruisers, they can just pinpoint shoot. Um, 
I, I'm hoping one day I will get access to a battleship and have some fun with that. Didn't really get anything, I've already done that anyway, so. Yes, now we have that. That's going to be. We had it for that before, but, you know, I mean. Just a bit more useful. <laughs> she saw previously, they just. The explosive shells just don't do anything on the uh, larger ones. Yeah, they're nice. They're fun. I like them. And then, as well, if we had them, then we may have had a better chance of taking out the um, B-25. So, actually, I'm going to get them. And, uh, yeah. Finish that off. thinking dry docking first before tool set. Although I've <laughs> come on, everybody's clicked the wrong one one time and gone Oh no, damn. Um Yeah, now we do dry docking. Simply for speed, speed. I like the speed and turning. Very useful. Twenty four percent in one battle with one booster. Lovely. I like that a lot. <laughs> Otherwise you sat there just doing mission, 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 mission. That's crazy. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. And uh, catch you guys and girls and people in the next one. <laughs>